The National Network of Associations of HIV Positive Persons in Congo, RENAPC, says for nearly five years, the country's antiretroviral supply and distribution chain has been in disarray. The longest break lasted five months, causing resistances, deaths and many other opportunistic infections. The government has sought to correct that by purchasing a batch of drugs, which might still only be able to cover the needs of 13% of the patients. La rupture des antiretroviraux est une est une des violations. The breakdown of antiretrovirals is one of the violations of the rights that the state imposes on people living with HIV and AIDS. There are about 17,000 people who are under ARVs throughout the republic. These are all people who unfortunately are in trouble because of lack of medicines. It is the whole chain from identification to distribution and dispensing of drugs that is failing. Even storage is a problem. Jusqu'à la distribution, la dispensation des médicaments, c'est toute cette chaîne qui est défaillante. Même le stockage, ça, ça pose des problèmes. Children born to mothers living with HIV are in danger. Support associations, including RENAPC, say there is a lack of coordination of control on the storage and supply of drugs. The government, however, says the crisis is a reality but not fate. Il s'agit de maîtriser toute la chaîne d'approvisionnement. It is a question of controlling the whole supply chain, of knowing the active queue, that is to say the exact number of people living with HIV in our country, secure storage, distribution and transport of ARVs, but also to neutralize the mafia circuits that endanger the lives of our fellow citizens who live chronically with this disease. On danger la vie de nos concitoyens qui vivent de façon chronique avec cette maladie. The issue of ARVs has never been dealt with appropriately and many deaths have been accumulated with our suppliers. Congo has recorded a decline in the prevalence rate in recent years from 4.1% to 3.1%. Analysts and other experts are worried that this rate will rise again with the persistence of this breakdown of the supply chain.